Well, hello, folks. It's Jamil Sweat for Gunstock Reviews. I'm here in Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, our favorite indoor facility. And today we're going to talk about a brand new product from Mossberg. A couple of years ago, uh, Mossberg went back into the handgun business with the MC1 SC, which is a single stack subcompact pistol. A uh, year, year and a half ago, they came out with the MC2C, which is basically a bigger version of the MC1, being MC2 is a double stack uh, magazine pistol, which is pretty cool because, I mean, it's one of the most compact pistols for the size, giving us about 15 or so rounds, and it's so skinny and so slim that fits perfectly in my hand and does not print as much as a comparable pistol of the same size. So this year, Mossberg has come up with something completely cool and they've gone back to the drawing board and expanded on the MC2 line with the MC2 SC, which is basically a subcompact version and it's sort of like a, I would call it a mixture of the MC1 and the MC2. Basically, they made the MC2C smaller and they also made it double stack. So basically, it's a double stack with a capacity of 11 plus 1 or 14 plus 1, depending on the magazine you use. And the cool thing about it, of course, no new subcompact pistol in the U.S. will be complete without the uh, addition of a capability of using a red dot. So it's optics capable, uh, red dot capable uh, uh, pistol. It has a white dot front and rear sights, uh, front cocking serrations, even though I don't use them myself, I find them aesthetically pleasing. I like the look of the front cocking serrations. I really never use them, but I just like them. And what can I say? A small pistol? Look at that. Look how small this pistol is. And we're going to shoot it for the first time today. And we're going to shoot it the way it comes from the factory with no red dot. And then we're going to quickly install a uh, Crimson Trace micro red dot on it. And then try it with it. We just, uh, it's not going to be sighted in, so basically bear with me. I'm going to try to point it in the right direction with a red dot and see how it shoots. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And okay, for our first test, we're going to shoot a Fiocchi 115 grain uh, jacket hollow point going about 1200 feet per second. So first I'm going to use the 11 plus one magazine. I'm only loading five rounds in it, not because it's not capable of being loaded all the way, is because you already know there's not that much ammo out there and my ammo supply is very, very limited. So let's go ahead and try it. Five rounds. I like it. Recoil management is excellent. Uh, for such a small pistol, it is very, very good. Um, would I say that I, with a smaller magazine, my hand, I'm gonna put it this way, my hand doesn't fit all the way in with a small magazine, okay? So if I put the higher capacity magazine in here, the 14 plus one, my hand fits perfectly in it. So I guess this is gonna be my choice of magazine to carry with it. Before we start installing the red dot, we're gonna verify that the firearm is unloaded so physically and visually look at it, it's unloaded. We're gonna remove this, the two retaining screws that hold the plate in place. Well, when flying. Okay. So we're gonna remove the plate and place our crimson trace red dot in place. And then what we're gonna do is, the two screws that we're gonna install now have a different uh, tip on them. So, because we have this um, screwdriver kit from Real Avid with all the tips, it's gonna make it really, really easy to change the tip. And remember, when you're installing these, don't use too much thread locker in it. I'm not gonna use thread locker in here for, for reasons of this video. I, you gotta let their thread locker dry a little bit. So basically tighten with your fingertips. Okay. 
that's all you need. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot it. We're gonna go ahead and load a magazine. We're gonna, we're using the 14 plus one magazine that I mentioned before that gives me a much better uh, grip on the pistol. And now we have the Crimson Trace red dot properly installed. Let's go and shoot it. Remember, this is not sighted in, so don't expect a one inch group in exactly the center of the target. I'm gonna see how it shoots for the first time and then we'll sight it in at the proper distance. It's shooting, I, I pulled two shots. Okay, those are those were me, but it's shooting a little bit to the left, but actually the group is pretty good. I'm gonna shoot another five rounds and just to shoot a little slower so I can be a little more controlled on it. Um, I found that the pistol still, the recoil management on it is really good. For a subcompact pistol that basically weighs almost nothing, this pistol is really manageable. And as the first impressions are that, yeah, this is going to make a really, really good carry pistol. Oh yeah, it's a good shooter. I think um, I'll definitely use it and carry it for a little bit and see how it performs. But I think it's great to throw in your jacket or pocket carry in a pocket holster or even in your belt holster. I think it's gonna be a good choice. So I, what can I say? Um, my first impressions are very positive. Trigger pull is really nice and crisp. And you gotta, you gotta understand, this is a very small pistol for the purpose of concealed carry. The cool thing about it is that um, six hour uh, sights fit this dovetail, which is the same case as the MC2SC, um, as MC2C. Um, I black, blackened out the, uh, the dots on it because I actually prefer the uh, black sight in the back, in the rear, so I, I will say, yeah, I might do the same thing with this one, just blacking out the dots and keep the white dot and go for it. Again, like always, guys, thanks for watching. Please remain healthy, stay safe, and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.